What's up everyone, it's Trainer Dell. In this video, I have for you my budget Boro standard deck. Um, not much more to say. As you can see down below, this deck on TCG Player Direct, um, not counting the lands, is like $7 to build. I guess shipping, it'll be like eight, like something like that. But I counted all the price on the cards and it was like six ninety four, six ninety five, something like that. And then 99 cents, boom. Eight dollars standard deck. Let's go. Um, so yeah, I like Boros Legion, that's my team, that's my guild. Um, got Path of Metal right here. And when it enters the battlefield, it deals one damage to each creature that doesn't have first strike, double strike, vigilance, or haste. And if you attack with two creatures, at least two creatures, with first strike, double strike, vigilance, and or haste, transform it. And I'm playing two of these, but it turns into this one. Metsali Tower of Triumph. It can add one mana of any color to your mana pool. So mana fixing, legendary land. Um, one in a red and tap it. It deals two damage to each opponent. And two in a white and tap it. And you choose a creature at random that attack this turn and destroy that creature. So obviously you're going to do it in your opponent's turn. Um, well, more mana fixing than anything. This, this is I. No, it's an alright card. Um, then I'm playing two of the Fanatical Firebrands. Has haste. You can also tap it to sacrifice and deal one damage to target creature or player. So it can be a little removal for small things and then, you know, reach a little bit if you need to get that one extra damage off. Playing for Glory Bound Initiate. Um, he's a 3 1 for 2, a 1 and a white. And if you exert him, then he gets plus one plus three and gains lifelink. So that's cool. So he becomes like a four four. So a four four swinging on your turn three. It's pretty cool with lifelink. Oh, pretty cool. The reason I built this deck is because I like this card. Sky Terror. I just like how it's a white and a red, just Boros colors and has flying in menace. So it has like two types of evasion. So I don't know. I just I just like this card. I like I like the foil too, that sun. Just a cool card. Veteran Motorist. I'll probably take this out soon, especially when uh, Kaladesh rotates out, right? Might as well. Also a red and a white. Um, when he enters the battlefield, scry two. And whenever he cruise a video or vehicle, cruise a vehicle, plus one, plus one. But I don't really run any vehicles. But three, one. Just a beater. Honor Crop Captain. She coo, she the captain, another red and a white. And uh, whenever she attacks, all other attackers just get plus one, plus oh. So kind of like a battle cry in a way. Well, I like it. I like it a lot. Relentless Raptor. He's eyed. I don't know. I guess maybe I'll take him out later on when um, Dominaria set hits. Or if I get like better cards, because this is a budget deck. And I'm slowly upgrading it. But this is what I'm playing in standard right now. Um... We have Vigilance, so it doesn't have to tap, and it has to attack and block each combat available. So he has to block. But a 3-3, I don't mind trading with something early game. Four on crop crashers, and this is probably like one of the more, other than Glorybound Initiate, this is probably one of the more competitive cards you usually see. Um, haste, and then if you exert them, um, target creature can't block. So 3-2, so it's cool because... Um, one of my favorite plays I like doing is bring this out turn three and then you know swinging and then stopping something from attacking and then turn four bringing out another one <laughs> like swinging again and then they kind of like trade off early in the game turns three and four it's cool but that's what you're trying to do you're trying to swing as fast as possible two charging monstrosito monstrosaur 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 I, keep, I call him Monstrosator for some reason, but it's whatever. But five, Trample and Haste, just a 5-5. Five, five. It can survive Glorybringer. Um, but yeah, I just like it. It's a cheap alternative version, but I am taking it out eventually. And I'll show you why. Two Magma Sprays. Probably going to add two more in um, when Better Motorist rotates out. I don't know how all the rotating will happen, but I'm assuming... Amonkhet is staying. Correct me if I'm wrong. If if it's not, then well, gotta change up decks for standard. 
four lightning strikes because one in a red and deal three damage to our creature player just you know boom there it is <laughs> damage i'm playing buccaneers bravado it's kind of like a kind of little trick up the sleeve if they don't if they attack a relentless raptor if they know like oh you know i can now i can take it out and then you can be like ha got it first strike and plus one plus one so that's what you mostly what I use it for. And then Fanatical Firebrand can get a plus one plus one and double strike. So it can essentially hit for four if they're like if they don't they choose not to block or anything like that. Two cast outs. I might bump this up to four. I don't know. Um, but three in a white, it's kind of expensive, but not as expensive as the charging monstrosaur monstrosaur. Um, but it's cool, it has flash, and you basically, a cycle of living ring, you know, you um, exile a non-land permanent, um, an opponent controls, and um, yeah, it just stays exiled as long as this is on the battlefield. And if you don't need it, you can cycle it for one. So one white mana, draw. So because this is super budget and I need mana fixing, four stone queries, just enters tapped. I like the art. I honestly do like this, so yeah. I think we're gonna get Clifftop Retreat and Dominaria. So yeah, excited for that. Then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten mountains, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight planes. You can go half. You can take out one mountain, put one more planes if you want. But yeah. Um, I'm changing out the chargings and putting these babies in glory bringers to start off. You know, I want to upstart upgrading this deck. Um, I was playing this for a while and it was pretty fun, but I'm slowly upgraded. So got glory bringers, not too expensive. They're about like what? Three bucks each. So if you want, you change like this $8 deck to a shoot. What is this? Like $14 deck, so still under 20 bucks, pretty cool. I mean, just getting one Hazard will like cost more than this whole deck. Uh, so yeah, Boros League, Boros Legion, I, I roll with them. All right, y'all, thanks for watching. Peace.